All right, let's go ahead and start crafting for Valentine's Day. I have actually been over inspired for Valentine's Day this year, so I'm actually going to be doing three videos for Valentine's Day inspiration, and we're just gonna have fun getting inspired for this fun February holiday. So the first thing that I found was this little glass dry erase board. I love it. It includes the little marker and the little stand. There's also a couple ways that you can configure it. So let's open this up and just see all the fun things that this can do. So I'm just gently going to use my weeding tool to pierce this plastic. Okay, let's see. I'm hoping my idea was to stand it up kind of more traditionally, but let's just look at the options. Now this was from the Target dollar spot and it was $5. I think this is so cute. I really like the style of it. Oh, okay, so I see the back you can either do like this, which is the way I intend to do it, or you can just have it down like so. And it just kind of props it up kind of gradually. So both are really neat actually. I like that you can do either or, that's super fun. Okay, and then of course it comes with the marker, so you could use it as a traditional dry erase board. And I know I just took it out of the wrap, but I already got some fingerprints on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and Simply prep the surface with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. That way it's nice and clean and the oils from my hands won't disrupt that vinyl from laying down. Okay, so I went ahead and found a really cute design. Let's put this to the side. And I found this and put it on a really pretty pink. And I think it's gonna be adorable. Now, as always, I will link all the things that I'm using in the description box below the video. So be sure to check out under the video, you can simply, at the time of crafting right now at least, you can simply click on the title of the video to access that description box. And YouTube is always changing and updating, so that may be different in the future, but as of right now, that's how you can open that up. Okay, so let me go ahead and start weeding out all of the pieces of the design that I don't want. So I like to start with the surrounding area and then go back through and get all of the little middle areas. Just like that. Okay, now there's a big hollow area here. And now I can go through and grab all of the little middle pieces. So as you can see, this says kissing booth, five cents. I thought this was so cute. It has some little decorative XOXO embellishments on the right and left. And I loved just the style of this. I thought that was perfect for this little frame. And I think that the pink is going to contrast so nicely on this little pretty white backdrop. Okay, so there is the design. I love how that looks. Let's go ahead and grab some transfer tape and get this size down. Now I'm doing my largest transfer tape craft first. That way I can reuse it and trim it down for the next couple crafts. So let's grab some scissors. I think right about there will be good. And there we go. Okay, I'm trim this down. Okay, I'm going to just secure my design, actually let me do it this way, right on my mat. That way it stays put while I lay the transfer tape down. I'm going to just lay it down bit by bit, that way I don't get too overwhelmed, there we go, with the size of the project. So, lay that first little bit down, we'll move the magnets, and then pull. Okay, let's smooth that out. Oh, kind of got a little bit bubbly, but that's okay. It'll all work out. And with my scraper, I'll really straighten that down. Just push those little bubbles out, good as new. Okay, and now also turn this over and repeat that right on the back. Okay. So now I'm gonna double check that I have this in the right direction, which I do. Hang that in. And let's go from this end. 
just remove the cutting sheet. And there's our design right on to transfer tape. Okay, so I'm just going to hover over and get that. Oops, I lost a couple of my, my eyes while I was hovering that over, but I can move those. Okay, I'm going to hover over and just see where I'd like that. Think, totally got that all discombobulated. So I'm going to try and do a little bit of surgery here. The thing about this transfer tape is it is so incredibly crazy sticky that, oh my gosh, I'm really not a fan. I've, it's, it's too much for me. It's just too aggressive of a stick. Um, so I think this is the third video that I've kind of tested it in and it's just a no for me. I, I, and I know a lot of people love it and that's great. We can all kind of like different things, but for me, I, I don't know that, that I love that. Okay, for the sake of time, I'm going to let that slide, but I'm probably gonna go redo that. However, the idea is so cute, so fun. I really like this design. I think it's very, very sweet. The wording is so nice. Of course, I don't have the font information, but I'll link the design down below in case you want to check it out yourself. But I think this turned out super cute, regardless of our little whoopsie. And honestly, if you like that transfer tape, that is totally fine. I think we all have our preferences. So I'm gonna go back to my original transfer tape that I really, really, truly stand by. And I'll link that one down below for you because I absolutely recommend that over this. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our next craft. While at Target, I also found this set of dish towels that came together. One of the little designs is just a nice cream with pretty hearts on it. And then we have a bolder pattern of a more like plaid look. And I'm gonna decorate this one today and save this one. Both are so pretty, but I was really inspired with this plaid. So again, I'll try to find this and link this down below for you, but let me grab my easy press really quickly. I don't quite have my heat press all set up. Let's see what I need to do here. I'm gonna put this at 315, and I don't remember the exact brand that I'm using for this HTV, so I'm going to link something similar, but this is a puff HTV, which is really, really neat. It kind of has a more velvet texture to it, and I thought this would be such a cute little idea for this pretty little towel. So I am simply going to do a simple heart. I think this was just a free design in Cricut Design Space. So easy peasy, you don't even need a weeding tool for that. And let's go ahead and prep this so that we can place our little heart right on there. Isn't that gonna be cute? Okay, I have my little desktop ironing board here and I'm simply going to, I'm gonna keep it folded up. I think that'll be just fine and run a lint roller right over it. I like to keep it folded up if possible because then I can get true center. You could also just iron this down and get some really good crease lines and then unfold it if you are worried about not having quite enough pressure from it being stacked up like that, but I think it's gonna be just fine. Okay, I preheated the material as well, and then I'm simply going to place my heart, and I think that visually looks just fine. So I'm going to try 315 with firm pressure and we'll do 15 seconds. Okay, 
And then I'm going to let that cool down. It's gonna be so cute. So in order to do that quickly, I'm gonna remove it from my warm ironing board and then place it on my cold mat. That way it just draws out the heat really quick. Okay, and when it is nice and cool, I can go ahead. Actually, I think this called for a warm peel and it actually is more on the warm than cool side, but then I just peel that off. I didn't have any problem areas, so I can be done with this. And I love this. I wonder if you can even really appreciate the texture on camera, but again, it's more of a velvet, which is really, really fun. I love Puff HTV. It is so fun to work with. I also have a full tutorial on how to use this, so I'll link that down below for you. That way you can see how to cut it and all the other fun little things that you can do with this. So I'll link that video for you if you want to kind of go down a rabbit hole of Puff HTV. It's so fun. But here is the idea for Valentine's Day. And again, I think it just adds a really fun texture that really is fun with this background and design. All right, let's move on to our next little craft for Valentine's Day. Okay, circling back to this adorable little mama sticker patch. If you remember, gosh, was it my Christmas video? I think it might've been my Christmas gifts of video. I purchased this from Hobby Lobby thinking it was an iron-on patch because they look identical, but this actually is a sticker patch. So I saved it for later. As many of you had great ideas on how to remedy that situation and I still might and buy another one, but some of you are saying to sew it on because of course it didn't have the iron-on adhesive, but more of a sticker adhesive, right? So I will probably try to do that. I just found this really cute notebook. I actually found it at TJ Maxx and I'm in need of a cute notebook for Bible study time. So I signed up for a couple classes this winter and actually go to my second one tomorrow and I thought, let's get this done so I can bring it along with me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just simply remove this. Again, this is from Hobby Lobby and it was more in the paper, well, it was more of an end cap. That's why I think I was so confused is because it wasn't like really close to the scrapbooking section or paper crafting section. But I think I'm simply going to place that just like that. And wrap that down just like you would a sticker. I love it, it's like a little chenille patch. And how darling is that? I love the texture of that. Such a pretty little notebook. I'll try to find a notebook and link it, um, something that I can find that's similar online for you, but I think that's really cute and such a fun use of that patch. I feel so badly that my first craft was such a stinker, but so many of you really, really love when I leave all of those whoopsies in my videos because it's more relatable and also it's just reality, right? So I'm leaving it in but I do think I probably will redo that little kissing booth sign just because up close, the vinyl is just a little bit damaged from trying to fix it and all of that. So I don't know, but there is the whoopsie for today. Hopefully that's the only one that we have to leave in this video. I found this at Target as well. How cute is this? I was drawn to it because of that nice bold red and I thought it would be really cute. I grabbed a tiny little scrap piece of vinyl that I had in my scrap bin. I'll place a link to the video of where I show exactly how I store all the teeny tiny little scrap pieces. It really does help if you can keep those and reuse them. And if you have a really nice and efficient storage solution for them, not only will they be more organized and easier to find, but they also will be utilized more. Okay, I'm grabbing my not favorite transfer tape, but it's all I have. As soon as I'm done crafting, I'm going to reorder my favorite one. I ran out earlier, or no, later in the year, right before I moved. And I didn't order it right away. Usually when I run out of something, I order it right away. But I didn't because I didn't want to move it, <laughs> right? If you've been in a situation of moving, you want to move as less as possible. So you don't place any big orders or any orders really right before you move. Which reminds me, oh my goodness, I was so embarrassed. I had every address changed, but I still managed to accidentally have some of my Christmas gifts accidentally shipped to my old address. Oh my goodness, thank goodness. 
my best friend was able to run by and grab those. And I had to pay a little extra, obviously, because I had to have it shipped twice, but I got my gifts back. Okay, so I have this cup, obviously, but I thought it'd be cute to put Mama right here. And I'll link this font that I used down below. And what I did is I typed it out, but then before I, as you can see, it is a script font, so I went ahead and welded it. But before I welded it, I went and used the curved feature so I could curve it just ever so slightly so that it could take the little curve of that heart. So if you are doing a curved little text and you're doing it with something that is script, make sure you don't weld it until you have the curve figured out. So make sure the curve portion goes first, you get it just how you want it, and then weld it together. There we go oh that turned out really good honestly i just had to kind of guess on what that curve would be but i think that's so adorable and i'm totally keeping this for myself if you remember my husband has a rule it's a very loving rule and it's a very necessary rule in our house because i'm obsessed with coffee mugs but he always says when one coffee mug comes in another must go out and if he didn't have that loving rule then we would just have 65 little cupboards full of coffee mugs because we all have our thing, right? But for me, it's coffee mugs. I love them. So now I have to decide which mug is gonna go because this is definitely going to stay. This is a beautiful piece. I believe it's from Hobby Lobby and it is in their Valentine 2024 collection. I was obsessed with it. I love this for the kitchen. Or if you don't have little ones and pets, then you could put it you know, in your living room or something like that. But I have to keep all sweets higher up off of the ground for children and pets. But I like to put this on our island and have something to put little chocolates in. So knowing that when I saw it, I thought I would put something fun around the little curve of the heart here. So using the same font that I used for the last craft, I went ahead and wrote out a sweet little phrase and I didn't end up curving this because I just couldn't quite figure out how I wanted to do it. So what I think I'm going to do, oh, that's weeding so nicely. Oh, of course, right when I say it, hold on. This is the hardest one is because it's the little eye with a dot finished the little dot to my eye so now I can go through and gently remove all of the little middles of my letters and I went ahead and spelled out or wrote out I love you more than chocolate I thought that was so cute okay so now that I have that all weeded out of course that doesn't take the curve but I thought what I would do is add them just kind of in little sections. So I will trim this off and I'm going to use this tiny piece that I just used for the coffee mug because now it's about the third time I've used it and knowing how sticky it is, I want to have it be a little bit less sticky for this project because I feel like wood can be a little bit harder sometimes with a sticky vinyl, or I'm sorry, a sticky transfer tape. Okay, so I'm going to do I love, just like that. We're just gonna go all the way around. Oh, and I knew it. It's just too sticky. Okay, I'm not even gonna use this for the rest of my project or I will be here all night. And even with pushing it down and peeling with my scraper, it's still pretty darn tricky. Okay, I'm gonna grab a different transfer tape. Okay, this is a paper transfer tape, so it is much less aggressive. I don't grab for it a lot unless I'm working on papery products, but, and that's really just because it's a great transfer tape. I actually used it a lot when I was first starting with my Cricut, but it's not transparent. So I, I just struggle with it sometimes when I can't see through it as well. You can see through it enough, but 
as you can see, it's not completely see-through. All right, let's see if we can get through this project as painlessly as possible. Okay, I love you. There. I love you more. I love you more. And I didn't quite have enough on here, so I'm going to take that off. And one thing about this, though, is that it loses its sticky really fast. So sometimes I have to just get new pieces more often. Okay, I love you more than, oh, that's really looking nice. It's taking the curve of that heart so nice when I'm able to kind of do that in sections. I'm given a little bit more control of the shape. Now, chocolate is a pretty long word, so I'm hoping that, I think it's gonna actually be just fine because we're on a little bit more of a, not a straight, I mean, obviously we're gonna start to curve, but we have a good little area here that's a little bit consistent in curve. I think we are good to go. Let's finish up that last little bit. And, oh, I think that looks really cute. I love you more than chocolate. Very, very fun. I think what I'll do though is, my little spacing was a little off there, but that's okay. I might move this eye over just a hair. And the little dot to the eye. Very cute. Okay. I love how that turned out. I think that's a really sweet idea. So there is a way that you can be inspired with items like this that have just a little lip on there. And I think that's really, really fun. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our next little idea. Okay, so I found these cute little hearts last year at the Target Dollar Stop. They're so cute and actually came with two pink, two red, two white, and two of the nice wood colors. But as you can see, that creates an even number. And originally I was going to do a really nice square sign, but because I didn't have an odd number of hearts to do like three, three, and three, it just was throwing off my eye. So I thought, why not just use half of the hearts? Sometimes I get a little caught up with having to use all of my craft supplies if I buy them all at once, but I'm gonna use half of them and save the other half for another project just for the sake of the design, right? Why would you make something that you don't necessarily love just to use craft supplies? So I saw this sign at Michael's and it was perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and simply Put the hearts on there. I think it'll be so cute, so dimensional, and I really love wordless decor. So let's go ahead and do something super fun with this sign. Okay, I went ahead and removed the dust. It's been in my, sitting in my craft room while we're constructing. Okay, and I think that looks really great. I'm simply going to use hot glue. Feel free to use the adhesive of your choice, but Hot glue has always really worked for me, so I'm gonna go for it. Oops, I'm changing sticks out, so it's being a stinker. Okay, and you know you have to move fast with it, so let's place it down. Okay, there we go, now it's grabbed on. Do the next one, there we go. And there. Love it, and I'll just continue on. How simple and easy. Sometimes it's just fun to find little elements and create nice art pieces with them. And again, wordless is so nice. Okay, and finally, this little guy. Right there. Okay, so there is that cute little heart sign. I thought that was a really fun idea. I love how that turned out. And again, fun little idea for if you find those little pieces, just a fun little way that you can do something that doesn't have words all over it, but is super dimensional. And I feel like they come out with all of these little pieces every so often. So it's such a fun little idea. Okay, I, ac I actually use a lot of muscle to get those off. So if you're worried that these are going to fall off, you have to really, really want them to. I noticed that wasn't quite um, 
even in alignment and that was going to completely bother me. So I'm going to move them all in just a little bit, just like that and re-glue them down. Now again, you would have to put in a ton of muscle to get these off, just about chipped a nail, but if you do it fast before it really sets, you are good to go. Okay, and I love that much better. Okay, again, use the adhesive of your choice. If you're not a fan of hot glue, just go ahead and use what you'd like. Um, I feel like it's kind of necessary to remind people lately to be kind in the comments. Um, it's kind of been a little bit overwhelming sometimes, and I'm not sure why, but always just be kind in the comments. If you want to do something a little bit differently, then feel free to do so, but I'm here just to help with the inspiration. Okay, let's go ahead and continue crafting. This little craft is so cute, and I have done something similar on my channel before. I am going to clean it with some rubbing alcohol before I get started. But every once in a while, you'll find these tiny little ceramic dishes, and they are so adorable. And I love creating little ring dishes with them. I think they're just so fun. I found this. Oh, it's actually, you know what it is? Okay, so Target had a really cute little tea set, so, um, little collection that they had. This was a dollar, but they actually have it marketed as a tea bag and spoon rest. How cute is that? So I'm gonna go ahead and run in a different direction, but I think that would be such a cute idea for a little tea bag. I love that. I'm actually gonna do, again, the little ring holder. I think that's so fun. I like to monogram them, and I like to sprinkle these around the house because from time to time in certain areas of my home when I'm either cleaning or washing dishes, so on and so forth, I like to take my ring off and I like to have a place where I know it'll be, especially because sometimes on certain counters you can kind of lose your ring kind of easily because it blends in or whatnot, but this is just a nice pretty place to let it rest while not wearing. Okay, let's go ahead and use, reuse some transfer tape. And you'll probably see this transfer tape in my next couple videos, only because I am getting ready to just get all of my Valentine's Day filming done, and I won't have my new transfer tape by the time um, I film. So, no problem, just, Use it in the meantime. Okay, I'm gonna burnish that with my finger just because my scraper is a little too large to get into that little curve. And there we go. Okay, so such a fun little idea, but again, it's marketed as a little spoon rest, which is way cute. And it's also an idea for a little tea bag, but you can always just look at things and take it in a completely different direction and let the little blank in front of you inspire you, but I was inspired in this way. I thought it turned out super cute. Okay, I'm really excited with this little kickoff video for Valentine's Day. Again, just know there are two more videos coming your way in the next couple of weeks, but I love how all of these crafts turned out. I was really inspired with this little set, and I'm excited that I could show you some ideas of how I was inspired with some of the things that I found in front of me. So, of course, that Puff HTV, I adore it. I wanna do some more crafts with that. This is the only second time I've used it, but every time I use it, it is so fun. In fact, the other craft that I did was a sweatshirt, and I still wear that sweatshirt to this day. I made it a couple years ago. I love it. It's just a wonderful product and it holds up super nice. I'm really glad we were able to circle back with this sticker. I know so many of you loved it when I showed it in my Christmas video. So I'm glad we circled back and kind of got some closure with that craft. And I really think that I'm gonna go repurchase this. I think this is also a really, really fun little gift idea too. So hope you're inspired with that. And you can also do a variety of other things with this too, but the notebook was a perfect choice for me. I probably will redo this craft just because of a couple problem areas, but I do think it turned out really, really cute. I'll simply just remove that vinyl and replace a new piece down once I have a moment. But for the sake of time, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you this one. I think it's really fun. And again, I'm gonna leave that mistake in because we all make mistakes, right? And we're all here to have fun and just be gracious with one another and get inspired. And then I really think this might be my favorite that I did tonight. This is so cute. I love how that turned out. And I'm gonna fill it with some candy for our little island in our kitchen just to have a really fun little piece for Valentine's Day. 
Of course, this was a cute little idea. This little guy was only a dollar. You probably can find these at the Dollar Tree as well. I'll try to link something similar down below. And then of course I found little elements that I simply glued to a sign. Sometimes you don't have to overthink things. You can just make things super simple and they turn out really beautiful. I hope this was helpful for you to get inspired with some Valentine's Day crafts that you may want to try this year. Let me know which one was your favorite. And if you made it to the end, leave a little heart emoji down in the comment section and I can't wait to hear which one you loved the most. All right, everyone, I'll see you next week.